if delta equals a11, a12, a13, a21, a22, a23, a31, a32, a33, a general 3 by 3 determinant and aij is cofactor of aij, okay, aij is cofactor of this, then the value of delta is given by, the value of delta is given by simply multiplying elements and corresponding cofactors of any row or any column together, corresponding cofactors are important, if you choose cofactors of any other row, for elements of a row, if you choose cofactors of any other row, the value will be 0. If you choose cofactors of one row and let us say elements of another column, you'll get something random. That's not something which we are concerned with, right? But same row, elements of same row and cofactors of same row, if they are multiplied together and then added, the value of determinant is obtained. So, these subscripts over here, we are interested in these subscripts. What are the subscripts that we are interested in? We are interested in this. These should be exactly same. Oh, they are not same, they are not same, therefore this is not giving me the value of determinant. 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 2, 2, 1, oh, 1, 1, 1, 2, 2, 1, no, 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 this is also not okay. 2, 1, 1, 1, this does not seem okay. A, 1, 1, A, 1, 1, A, 1, 2, 1, A, 2, 1, A, 2, 1, A, 3, 1, yes, this is the value of determinant. Option D will give me the value of determinant as you can clearly see behind me. Is that all? Yes, that's all in this question and that's all about this particular result related to finding value of determinant right that's something which is very useful and you should be aware of that very well and with this we come to the conclusion of this exercise from determinants chapter number four of ncrt class 12th we have discussed exercise 4.4 based on minors cofactors finding the value of determinant using cofactors that is multiplication of elements of a row with corresponding cofactors will give us the value of determinant right similarly for a column as well Till the next session, all the best.